it's Mari. Welcome back to my channel and in today's video I wanted to do a flip through of everything that I have included in this mini 5 ring planner that I recently introduced to this channel. This will be a pretty chatty flip through so if you are not into that I've also filmed a non-talking version of this so I will leave that in the cards as well as in the description below. Okay, so let's get into it. Okay, first, I just want to go over very quickly these adorable little things that I've attached to the planner. This is a beaded ostrich that I found in the depths of my closet and I thought that it fit the vibes and so it's right here. And this is a good luck charm that I bought at a local shrine. It has these five different colored pencils and a bell and it's supposed to bring good luck on your studies. So I thought that was really cute and I wanted to keep it right here. Okay, so inside the first pocket flap right here, I have included some circular washi tapes that I picked up from Daiso and I've clipped them together with this dog clip. Honestly, I haven't used these inside of this planner yet because they're pretty big for this size of paper. So honestly, it's just here for the aesthetic purposes. And then we move on to this index thing that I bought from a brand called Decona. And I think that this brand is the same one as the Reme Da Vinci company. So they produce leather ring binders that are really popular in Japan and they had a couple refills so I picked this one up and initially it did not come with these slits on the side but I wanted to be able to take it out really quickly and easily so I added those in. That is the most satisfying sound ever. And usually I have a post-it here with all of my priorities for the day. And I like to keep it here because it's the first thing you see when you open up this planner. And so there is absolutely no way of escaping or avoiding it. And you're just constantly reminded <laughs> of the things that you have to get done that day. And uh, what I use is this. This is also from Daiso and it's just a bunch of post-it to-do lists. And it goes right here and it's perfect. Next, I created this very simple a layout on Canva and it just says one day or day one. So I've created these for each of the five sections here and I've tried to make the quote uh, at the bottom somewhat relevant to the section that it's in front of. So yeah, very, very easy to make. I highly recommend. Here, this is the first thing, one of the first things that I made for this mini five planner. This was actually included with the planner when I first bought it. It was blank. It's made out of this kind of stock cardboard material and I just wanted to juice it up a bit. So I did a little collage and yeah, I think maybe after this flip through, I might remove it. I'm not sure. And then we move on to my goals page. So again, I wanted to keep this front and center and to be reminded of this every single day so that I know what I'm trying to reach, what I'm aiming for to accomplish by the end of the month. And so I created this very simple and yet cute goals page. And I used these post-its. They come in several different colors, but I chose purple because I thought it was really pretty. Basically has these square ones and then the usual ones and then slightly larger post-its. And then at the bottom here, I just have my intention. Okay, so this is my first collection in here. It's all the places that I want to visit and all of the tasks that I want to complete before I leave Tokyo. I am leaving tomorrow, sadly. So uh, there's several things that I definitely want to accomplish before I leave. And so I've listed all of that stuff here. And then we move on to my general to-do list. I am using the plotter, to-do list, refill memo pad. Um, 
it basically just looks like this and it's very convenient and very useful. I'm just using this as a brain dump page pretty much. I do have my Hobonichi weeks where I can write down a monthly to-do list, a weekly to-do list, and a daily to-do list, but I just wanted somewhere where I could brain dump everything. Whatever comes to mind, I can just jot it down here and I'm loving it. And then I have a more specialized to-do list right here. This is for YouTube. I also have a, another specialized to-do list for my masters as well, but I decided, you know what, uh, maybe I'll keep that private for now. So that is the end of that section. So that is everything that I reach for every single day and it's something that I wanna have on hand at any moment's notice. So moving on to the next section also made in Canva. So this is my collection section. <laughs> so the first collection I have here is any random thought that comes to mind. This is the place that I want to jot it down. So there is no categorization. There is no organization. Anything, literally anything that comes to mind, this is the place it, where it goes. Um, it's the most random stuff as well. For example here, the best thing that therapy has done for me is normalize what I feel. That is completely different from like this one, more keychains, <laughs> uh, which is basically referencing I want more keychains because I think they're adorable. Oh, that reminds me. I was debating whether or not to include it in right here um but he kind of doesn't really match the vibes so i don't i'm still debating if it was levi of course he would be here without hesitation but it's Eden, so still debating that we shall see please no attack on titan spoilers thank you very much <laughs> and then this is my stationary wish list yeah, this is an ever-growing list that I need to exercise control and restraint about. Uh, so yes, that is my stationary wish list. And this is a list of anything that is recommended to me. So I'm not organizing this at all. Whatever books, anime, TV shows, films that people recommend to me will go right here. Oh yes, and also this is paper that was included with the M5. It's from a brand called Love Leaf. And this is something that I made. It was very, very simple to make. I just picked up some origami paper from Daiso and just cut it to size. And then I was able to create this thing. So it's kind of a privacy thing so I've made it difficult to access. You would have to open up the rings to open this up, but basically in here I, I keep any private information that I don't want people to see if I open up this planner in public. So like passwords, um, private thoughts and stuff like that goes in here. And this is the design paper that I used. Next, I have this makeshift project management folder that I copied from the Plotter brand. I figured, you know what, I can make that myself, but I'm not keeping any projects in here. It's just um, empty refills that I wanna have on hand, so. I'm not sure about this. Uh, I think it's a little too flappy, so still testing this one out but I love these designs. I just think they're so colorful and cute. And next we have this clear case, clear card case from Ashford. So it looks like this. And in here I am just keeping some, oops, some stickers. Again, this is kind of like the very first stickers I showed you. This is kind of more for aesthetics than any usefulness. 
Again, the pages in here are just so small that I kind of don't decorate it much because otherwise that would take up space that could be used for planning and purpose. So yeah. Moving on to the next section. This is also from Canva that I made and I wrote, happiness depends upon ourselves. Okay, this one I'm actually really proud about. <laughs> so this is my replacement for the five minute journal. I made this uh, refill slash insert on Canva as well. It was very easy to do and yeah, this has pretty much replaced my five minute journal. So it has all of the prompts that come with the journal and this is the day portion. And I have made these into check boxes because I kind of use this list as like my guiding light throughout the day <laughs> to make sure that I'm doing the things that I thought would make today great. And then this is the night portion. So I added this question in myself. Uh, it's kind of different from the three amazing things that happened today prompt because it's specifically something that you did consciously to fill up your cup and to recharge that day. So I, I'm trying to work on that and so I added that little prompt. This five minute journal thing is really working out really well for me in the mini five. I was noticing that I was kind of dreading filling out the five minute journal recently and I think it's because I was regularly reaching for four different planners every single day and it was kind of getting a little overwhelming and it felt like a chore and I wasn't enjoying it so I thought okay maybe if I included it in here then I would only have to reach for three journals or planners every day and that would make it more doable, but also more fun. And I was right. So I, I am loving opening up this mini five planner in the morning and filling out this little gratitude journal every single day. So I have a couple empty ones in here. Oh, I just noticed that the paper changed. And then in here I have a feelings wheel. I thought maybe it could be useful, so I've attached that in here. And this is another little insert thing that I made. This one can open, unlike my other privacy one. And what I'm keeping in here is just all of the five minute journals that I have completed so far. I'm probably going to remove all of these after this flip through because this journal is getting a little chonky and uh, I need to slim it down. So I'm probably gonna take this out. Next section, writing is medicine. And this is a replacement for my one line a day journal. Uh, I just included this weekly refill, which is also from Ashford and yeah I just sit down and write a neutral overview of everything I did that day and it is working out very well for me. So it's not exactly like my Hobonichi Week's uh, daily highlights because this has or I try to include the most important things that happened that day regardless of whether or not it was a highlight. And I included a little collage here because I didn't start this journal until the 6th. I'm just using a regular ballpoint pen for this section. And then we move on to this calendar that I also made on Canva. And this is something called a shiitake uranai, which literally translates to mushroom fortune. And as I was binge watching so many M5 uh, Japanese YouTubers, 
I don't know why, but almost all of them had this inside of their ring planners and I I had never heard of it. So I looked it up and it's just this horoscope thing that a specific person called Shitake, <laughs> is, which is a nickname, they do and create. And I read mine and it was pretty accurate. So I just wanted to include this blurb for January. And then we move on to my monthly inserts, which were also included with this mini five planner. And they're from the brand Love Leaf. And in here, I didn't use it for December, obviously, but for January, I decided to use it as a reading tracker. And the reason why is because I thought this would be a lot more convenient. Instead of having to open up my traveler's notebook aka my reading journal every single day just to jot down a single dot for when I read, I figured I would just put it in here because I access this every single day and then whenever I do finish a book then I can open up my reading journal and copy over this reading log into there. And I was testing out whether or not I would like to use this as a content planner as well but I'm not sure about that. We'll see. And a yearly overview. And this is a little letter thing that I made to, inc to be able to put in some stickers in here. This is for aesthetic purposes. Um, I also made this out of origami paper that I bought from Daiso. And then finally, we move into the collections that I would like to have on hand, but don't necessarily access or need to access every single day. So first we have my 2022 bucket list. I still have not been able to come up with 22 for 2022. So hopefully that will come to me throughout the year. And then I made this thing where I wanted to brainstorm or reshuffle a couple things in my notebook lineup because of the addition of this mini five. Yeah, it's just a little brainstorm thing. And then I recreated my Goodreads challenge principle from Canva and resized it for my mini five. Again, easier to access and I can just jot things <laughs> when I, as soon as I complete them alphabet challenge and then I redesigned my modern Mrs. Darcy challenge as well as my rad challenge and then I have my TBR list which I'm keeping as a note obviously so that I can add to it throughout the year and finally I created this as well it's kind of similar to the Ashford plastic case where I also keep stickers but again this is for aesthetic purposes. I'm probably going to take this out. And then I have this clear plastic case where I am keeping a Polaroid. This is also from the brand Ashford. And here's a couple other things that I was initially keeping in my passport traveler's notebook that I migrated into here. I'm also keeping some index clips from Midori if I need to use them. And then in this final plastic, what do you call this, pocket flap, I am also including some random stickers that I thought might be useful to use inside of here. And that is it for this flip through. I hope that it was interesting and that maybe it would help you with your uh, organization or use of a ring planner and yeah I am really enjoying using this mini five I absolutely adore it and I think it's so cute and it's surprisingly very convenient and it's helping me in general with my no notebook lineup and I think it's a great addition unexpected but very happy with it so yes that is it for this video thank you so much for watching and i will see you in the next one bye